don't know. But neither you nor Sean are going down for this. Close. Pass. Neil, get on with it. What about the woman? What woman? The RSPCA inspector. She saw us. I've just been to see Brian Shanklin's parents. Oh, yeah? It seems like a boy who's never in any trouble. There's no hint of gangs or drugs or violence. Yeah, well, parents don't know everything, sir. I reckon those boys were waiting for him. It frightens me, Jack. Hmm? I won't pretend it doesn't. At times like this, you're fortunate you don't have any children or grandchildren. Oh, oh, oh. There's always an upside to every downside, isn't there, so they say. Here, I'll carry on. We've got it! Oh, don't give it to me. No. No, the underpass. Oh. Yeah, you see, it was 1989. Just a minute, just a minute. First things first. Who got there first, Jenny or Trigg? Well, I've been working on that year a couple of weeks ago, so it was already scanned in. There wasn't much in it, was there, Mr Trigg? A woman was attacked in the same underpass on the 21st of May, 1989. A handbag was taken, recovered with the money still in it. We uh, assumed the attacker just dropped it. He used a bike as well. Very similar. Oh, yeah. I remember. We thought it was a mugging, but we got it wrong. Well, I got it wrong. The motive wasn't theft. It was a violent attack on a woman. And his name was... Joseph David Formby. Yes. Because we pulled him in for another attack two years later. Three, 1992. Yes, so well, the woman was lucky to be alive, but not before he'd attacked and killed another woman in Croydon. Is that right? Yes, but we got him in the end. You got him in the end? That's no consolation to a dead woman. Anyway, what happened to Formby? Died in Wormwood Scrubs four years ago.